Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the last video, we talked about our position tool. And in this video, I want to talk about our range selection tool. Now, this is a great tool. Instead of collecting whole clips in your timeline, there's a range tool selection. So it's good to make quick edits within the timeline. So you could either go over here and click on range selection or do the keyword shortcut R. Now I'm on this all the time, mostly deleting stuff. You can also copy and paste stuff. It works out very well also. So I've got this clip right now of Sub-Zero and Jax, and then I've got the high score credits rolled. And what I wanna do is now that I'm on range selection, I could just click my starting point and my finishing point just by dragging. Now what I can do is I can just do that and I can hit delete to get rid of it. I don't wanna do that. Maybe I wanna copy and paste it. Say I wanna copy it, I'll do Command C, and then I'll add it. It's gonna add it to wherever your playhead is. So if you, add it right here, it's gonna leave a gap right between there. So I'm gonna delete the gap and just like that. So it's really just a way to make quick edits within your timeline. Uh, right now, this is called our primary storyline. And uh, yeah, you don't have to do, make any edits up here. You can go ahead and just click R keyword selection, brings it up really fast. And uh, you can grab whatever you're going for just by dragging and stopping. And then from there, it's up to you. Do you wanna copy and paste it? Do you wanna delete it? Uh, I use this mostly when I'm working with sound effects and pictures because I do a lot of copy, copy and pasting, stuff like that for bigger projects. So that's kind of the gist. It's really a good tool to make quick edits within your timeline. All right, guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense. I'll see you in the next video.